All right, good afternoon, people. Um, BBC PG Day Live for the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, where the Ghana squad don't land Nigeria. Uh, as you can see, so um, Richard Ofori, now in my screen, Richard Ofori, now the second vice captain of the national team, Thomas, Thomas Pate, Pate don't also Thomas show face Pate. for Nigeria. Uh, ahead of that game tomorrow, the match at the second leg of the crucial uh, FIFA 2022 World Cup playoff uh, qualifier. I uh, see the coach we did there, also coach Otto Ado. Um, one by one, the players are done the come out. These are the technical crew of George Boateng and also the uh, technical advisor of the team, will be Chris Hotin. Um, I will take on a go close and make you see how the players themselves will be, um, enter inside the the very way Nigeria don't prepare for them. The game, like you see, about 5 p.m. Ghana time and also the game at 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Uh, and of course, BBC News PG will give on all the updates from um, on top of our website and also updates on top of our social media platform. BBC go also do live radio commentary on your favorite radio channels tomorrow. So make you keep uh, a date with us tomorrow as we will cover this match live from the uh, MKO Abiola Stadium by 6 p.m. Nigeria time and 5 p.m. Ghana time. Like I thought, um, this match they crucial for the team because he go decide who go be the final. He go decide who go be the Please, you're shouting. So this match go decide who among the two go uh, qualify to go the World Cup for Qatar later uh, this year. Nigeria draw 0-0 with Ghana for Kumasi last week. And uh, if this match also end for 0-0 draw, the match go enter extra time. Um, but if the match end 1-1, it means say Ghana go qualify on away goals rule. And, and if Nigeria win 2-0 or by any form of uh, goal margin where they say they win, it go ensure say Super Eagles themselves now then go uh, progress go the next where round. Are you? So this now all the um, permutations where they involve. Um, later, BBC News PG will also publish story where we will also show you what thing will happen, all the ifs and all you need to know, where to watch them and also uh, where to listen to them. Like I talk, we will bring you live radio commentary on your local channels for Nigeria and also on your local channels for Ghana. So make you watch out for them. And the players don't also land for Nigeria as we see. Um, uh, the, the person in my front, that Joe Wallacott, will be one of the goalkeepers for the squad. Jordan Ayu as well, they behind there. And they see um, Fatao also did there. Fatao was caused Nigeria problems for the first leg. Um, behind uh, Wallacott, now one of the technical assistants uh, and behind the technical assistant now uh, Chris Hudson will be the technical advisor of this team. Uh, if you remember Chris Hudson because now coach we don't coach for Premier League as well. George Boateng to the former Middlesbrough midfielder now one of the uh, members of the technical crew. Later today Ghana will train for the MKO Abiola Stadium for the first time where they go feel the pitch. They go also um, check in for their hotel later today as well. Uh, we'll they have, we will bring on our, all the live updates with the Ghana national team. Even Nigeria too will hold their press conference later this evening where coach Austin Eguavo and also uh, coach Otto Ado go talk to the press. Make on a just day they wait with BBC News Pigeon definitely go bring on all the updates, everything live. You go watch them for on top of our Facebook platform and also we will also bring you live text updates of that match. Like I talk, if you don't forget, the match will start by 5 p.m. Ghana time and also 6 p.m. Nigeria time. BBC News Pigeon will bring you all the latest updates. Um, if you just uh, join us, this is like, the arrival of the Black Stars of Ghana for the Inamdi Azikiwe International Airport for Abuja, Nigeria capital. And the Black Stars will later train this evening for the MKO Abiola Stadium for the first time ahead of that match tomorrow and um, later the two teams and also representatives of the team will, will talk to the press um, if 
if you drop your permutation, your, your uh, prediction there, um, for the permutation wait day, like I tell you now, if Nigeria win by 2 0, it means Nigeria will progress. Any form of margin of victory means Nigeria will progress. If the match ends 0 0, it will go at extra time, and then finally, if it still remains 0 0, the match will enter penalties. If Ghana draw 1 1 or any score draw for Nigeria, a way go rule, go play, go there at play. Because for Kumasi, where they played last week Friday, the game end 0 0. So these are some of the permutations where they. Um, BBC News Pigeon will publish story later today. We go also uh, let you know everything about that match. We go happen tomorrow and where you feel watch out, where you feel listening to her for your live radio uh, commentary, and also for on top of our Facebook platform where we will bring you all the updates, all the updates from their training down to the press conference. So I don't see some of the permutations where they hear yeah, some of their predictions. William Linta say Nigeria go win 1-0. While um, <laughs> somebody say Nigeria go win 7-1. Uh, most of the predictions where they see for comments, they say Nigeria go win. Um, Allah say because Oluwakayo, they say Nigeria 3, Ghana 1. Um, I'm not going to drop on a prediction ahead of that game tomorrow. But as you see, the Black Stars of Ghana door land for Nigeria and BBC News Pigeon they here live for the Inamdi Azikwe International Airport where will they bring on all the latest updates and uh, we thank Honor for joining us as you see the Black Stars don't they go to their hotel um, where they go from there can go join them for for the MK, MQ Abiola Stadium for training later this evening make on just day with us in the evening, we will go live to bring on another training as well as 15 minutes they open to the press. And then uh, we will also go to the pre-match press conference where the coaches of Nigeria and Ghana and also representatives of uh, their player representatives will also um, answer questions from press. We thank all of you that will join us. But uh, before I go, make I just show and I say, true, true, the Black Stars of Ghana don't enter Nigeria. <laughs>